All right, guys. Well, uh, got a couple things we got to do today. I had uh, engine light came on in the RV, so I put the uh, code reader on it and found out we had three codes. Two of them uh, were O2 sensor codes, uh, uh, O2 sensor, bank two sensor two. So we got uh, I got that <clears throat> delivered and. The other code, the third code, was for the TPS, the throttle positioning sensor, which I got that. I got a new one to put in today. Um, so I guess uh, we're going to film a little bit. I don't know how detailed we'll be able to get into it because it's such a tight area there to work in. But uh, I thought we'd go ahead and film it that way. If anybody, because I couldn't hardly find a video on this engine, anybody replacing this at all. And it seems to be a pretty common problem uh, a lot of people have but uh, I'll do the best I can to show you what I'm doing as, as I go and hopefully this might help you out Let me see the new one. that in the first place. Do you want me to hold that thing? No. Torch bolts. Torch wrench. It's right here. That's the top.
That better? Yeah. I wonder if they sell that in there. Okay guys, so over the last couple of days, Marshall has done a little work to the RV. He got the O2 sensor replaced. We had a Bank 2 bad O sensor, so he got that replaced. Bank 2 sensor 2, so he got uh, that replaced and he uh, replaced our throttle body position sensor and now he's going, now he's uh, cleaning the throttle body with the spray that you can use for that the spray i showed you guys earlier um all all of this he's doing for the throttle body because whenever we would go to start the rv it would like turn before it would crank over and now it just shoop, turns right over and sounds great and our check engine lights off so we're happy with those two things and uh didn't cost too much to have them replaced uh, he did have to take the passenger seat out and take the doghouse off to do the work for the throttle body, but hasn't been too pain too painful, I guess. But uh, it's done. I'm happy. He's happy. So another project done. I'm cleaning right here. This is the throttle body. Um, you can't see inside there. I don't know if you want to stick the camera around in there and try to see, but I don't know what you guys can see in there, but. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to clean that out real good, and then I'm going to go outside and clean the uh, throttle body, uh, the throttle body uh, sensors, whatever they're called. <laughs> They can see the stuff that comes out. Okay, now Marshall's just going through and getting the doghouse all put back together and getting the seat put back in. That's all screwed down. This piece that goes right here, right here. We like to, those wires that are hanging. We like to kind of tuck them inside of that. So that's what he'll do. He'll tuck those wires, get everything where he wants it, tuck those wires in, and then pop those in place. And now he's just bolting the seat back down. The seat coming in and out is actually pretty easy. There's four bolts. You take those out, pick up the seat, take it out, and put it back in and put the four bolts back in. He's got his little helper. He's got his little helper over there, Phoebe. She ain't been much help. <laughs> so that there is the gunk that came out of the throttle body. And that's just a little bit of it. He used just several napkins, but that's what it looks like coming out of there. Now... He is going to use the mass airflow sensor cleaning cleaner and get that cleaned up. And little things down in there, that's what you gotta clean off. Ours doesn't look all that dirty, but that screen looks pretty bad.
Turns it right out, huh? One thing you want to make sure is that if you do this, make sure this is all the way dry before you put it back in. Don't do not put it in wet. And the stuff dries really fast. I mean, you can almost watch me spray it and watch it evaporate. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to touch them sensors. They're very sensitive. Okay, I'm just going to let this sit right there in the sunlight for a second. She'll get out of the sun. <laughs> And that's all you had to take off? Yep, and then the last thing I'll do is uh, get a new air filter and be done. And, uh, I didn't show you how I took it apart, but she can film me putting it back in. It's very easy. It's two, uh, it's two little nuts, uh, two little clamps, one on each side, and make sure you unplug it. Just slides in there like so. Go ahead and tighten that one up. Alright guys, well after a uh, couple hours, or a little bit longer, uh, we finally got it done. No more engine light, everything's running good. Um, we also took some time and uh, I bought some uh, throttle body cleaner and some uh, uh, mass airflow sensor cleaner. And I cleaned all that out. That's uh, also, well, you guys already watched it, but uh, that's in the video as well. And I hope this helps people out because these are just small things you can do and it's it's really going to make your vehicle run a lot longer for you know a lot better for a lot longer so yeah i would say too a lot of people might be um nervous about taking the seat out and the dog house out and thinking that was going to be a long process but it, it really wasn't it wasn't bad the only thing is i i myself made a couple mistakes i tried to get the throttle uh, positioning sensor off of the uh of the throttle body without taking the throttle body off and I probably spent over an hour trying just trying to get the screws out and then once I finally got the screws out the throttle positioning sensor wouldn't come off so I had to take the throttle body off anyway which once I took the throttle body off the only reason I was really scared to take the throttle body off is because I didn't have a gasket and I was afraid that I might mess the gasket up and then have to wait for one to get delivered but I took it off it took me probably two minutes to take that off um, Put the, put the two screws into the throttle position sensor and screwed it back on. It was probably 10 minutes I was done. Yeah. So uh, I messed with it for over an hour just trying to get it off when it could have took me 10 minutes. So learn from my mistake. Hope that helps you out. The O2 sensor also, um, a lot of people say, you know, you got to cut your wires and this and that. But I didn't have to do any of that. I didn't have to get a special tool, O2 sensor tool. I just used a wrench. Um, it was really easy to do and get done. And, you know, that light was on earlier this year it came on and when I went in to buy the O2 sensor at uh, Advanced Auto Parts or AutoZone whichever it was, AutoZone they said oh just put this stuff in your engine and you know it'll clean it out and uh, this and that which we said okay we'll go ahead and give it a try and it did it the uh, light went out for a month maybe a couple months but then it came right back on so uh, we ordered our parts through A1 Auto online, which is a lot cheaper. The parts are just as good. I know I replaced my uh, turn signal with the cruise control and everything in it. I got it from A1 Auto. I paid like 30 bucks for it, and they want 200 something dollars everywhere else for yeah. the same exact part. Um, and uh, sh most shops want a couple hundred dollars to put it in. I found someone to put it in for 50 bucks, yeah. right about. So there's always cheaper ways out there. I mean. You know, we're not loaded, we don't have a lot of money, uh, so we, we do things the best way we can, and 
Now, so far, it's worked out, so we're glad that we got this fixed and going again. And yeah, I'll, um, maybe you can leave the link for the A1 Auto so they can. Yeah, I'll drop the link down there. Look at that too. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. And I did want to say, um, if you guys wanted to follow up with us a little bit more, I tend to post on Instagram a lot. <laughs> I post uh, at least a picture a day on Instagram. So if you want to keep up with us, Instagram and Facebook. Our Instagram is Breaking Free RV. Uh, we're also on Twitter, Breaking Free RV. And our Facebook is Marshall Tanya, but our page name is Breaking Free RV. So. And uh, one more thing, I did make this a kid friendly video, so I deleted out all the cuss words <laughs> that I was using while I was working on this thing. So that would be safe for kids if kids are around. Mm. So thanks for watching, all guys. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye.